All right, so I was actually the, the, the content lead for Summit for several years, and I always looked for a talk like this, right? Uh, being more productive with Confluence, helping people to, to uh, use Confluence better in a better way and faster. Uh, this talk got, never got submitted, so then I left Atlassian and I submitted it, and here we are. Um, all right, so just, just a short uh, show of hands. Who's using Confluence, right? Like, like monthly, once a month, let's say that, once a month. Ah, few, okay. Who's using it on a weekly, once a week, checking in, looking that, okay. Who's using it daily? You're on the right talk, great, awesome. Um, also, who's, who's fairly new to Confluence, who's using it since one year, two years, four years, someone here? More than seven years? Me, <laughs> awesome. Uh, so said that is uh, also if you, if, you, if you use it uh, frequently, um, the people that actually use Confluence, it's this here. 80% of the people that check in Confluence, that go logs in Confluence, just consuming content rather than creating content. So to be productive with Confluence, my first, uh, my first thing, my first agenda item is how can we make our pages more readable? Because these people are more productive and that makes you more productive if they read, right? So, and I just wanna talk, there's a lot of stuff to say when, you, when it comes to, to make, it, make your pages more readable and I just wanna talk about the layout options that you have in Confluence. Um, especially if you, if you use this all the time, that's the default layout, right? The wide layout. Um, and if you, if you use that, uh, it's the default one on server. So your content looks like this here. Um, and it's, it's, it's not very readable. So if you want something that, it, 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 I mean, it, it, there's a lot, fits a lot on the page, right? Uh, because it's very wide and, and uses a lot of space, but it's not very readable. So if you want to make your, your content more readable uh, and, and you want your, 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 uh, your readers to consume the content good, I would recommend you use this one and then leave the, the, the two bar sides on the, on the left and right, leave them white. Um, so it looks like this and it makes the content much more, more readable. People can just uh, read the lines better. Another layout options that I see often people use is this. It's pretty hard to use, to, to tell you that. Uh, I have a couple of use cases when I, I used it, uh, uh, but um, please, please make sure that you know what you wanna do if you use they, that layout. Um, for example, here's a project page, page that I put together um, and you can see clearly here on the, on the left side, I have the description of the project, the project goals, and so on and so on. And then on the right-hand side, I have the meta info about the project. Um, so make sure you have two different streams of content on left and right, so people not reading down the page and then have to scroll up again. So, um, so meta info, I put in something like, like issue keys, if it's a Jira issue key uh, that, that, um, that connects to this project, or, or due date, or team members, or something like this. And then we have this layout. Okay, use that layout with caution, really. You shouldn't use that very, very often. Um, so here's for an example where it might work, uh, where I have three steps, three things that I wanna talk about. Um, but also here, use that with caution. You can see here uh, that I really aligned the headings here so it's readable, otherwise it's just going up and down, up and down. Or here the, the pictures I aligned that and then the text. There's another trick that I do here on that page, not just that I line anything, but also um, you see a little white space between the, between the two layouts, the white layout and the three column layout. So I put in, just to make white space, because your, your cache return line feed will just be removed by Confluence, uh, put in these things here. So put in some, some layouts in between, so that creates, creates some, some white space between those. I don't know why Confluence glues the two layouts together, but it does it, so this is a good trick to, to avoid that. Um, so what I want to say is help your readers, right? Help your readers, um, and that helps also you to be more productive with Confluence. So the second thing I want to talk about is finding pages. We're constantly looking for pages that we have been editing before, right? So finding pages is a current, is a thing that we do on a daily basis, if you use Confluence on a daily basis. Um, and I think the biggest productivity boost I ever got is when I discovered these keyboard shortcuts here. GR, which means go recently. It really, it's a, it's a totally uh, productivity improve uh, because it goes to the recently viewed pages. So 
Let's try that in action. This one shows up, and you can just type in your recently viewed page uh, title that you want to look at, uh, and it, it, it shows up. That's a totally productivity improve here uh, if you use that. So see that in action here. Um, you start typing your GR, and they type your, your page. Just select it. No mouse touched ever, just on your, your, on your page. You have to be on, in Confluence, of course, if you want to use that. If you're not in Confluence, what are you doing? Well, if you use Chrome, you can add Confluence as, as, a, as a search engine to your toolbar. So what you do is here you enter your search engine. Here's our intranet at K15T. So I just type intra, uh, tab, and then I, I, I uh, type in the search term like I, I used to do in the toolbar from, from Chrome. So see that in action. I just type in here, K15 intra, back, Confluence. And it used the Confluence search instead of the Google search, and I'm there. So this is also a pretty productivity t uh, tip. Um, but what I want to really want to talk about here is improving while we type, right? Uh, using the keyboard as often as, as you can do. And there, there's a little bit confusion because I'm talking a little bit about cloud and server, and it's a little bit different here, so bear with me. Um, so for cloud users, ser server users, you don't have to listen now. Do you know what that means if you type that? Hash and then space or hash, hash, space, it's a, it's a different headings. So you type hash, space, and it turns it into heading one. See that in action here? Boom, hash, space, it's a heading one. You type that. Hash, hash, space, it's a heading two, and so on and so on. Um, so server users, listen again. There's also a solution for you, and it looks like this, h1.space, right? So type h1.space, it's a heading one, and so on and so on. See that here in action? Boom, it's a heading one, heading two, heading three. Um, pretty obvious, but what if you want to turn a heading one back into a heading three, back into a paragraph? How do you do that? There is nothing like p dot space or something. Um, so what you do is you type again h3 dot uh, space, and it turns it back into a paragraph. So heading three, and I start typing h3 dot space, and it's back into a paragraph. Same with uh, heading one and heading two. So use that when you want to turn something back into a paragraph. All right, um, auto format. Auto format, pretty much I use it every day. This is for the, for the cloud folks here. Um, it's, it's asterisk, italic, and then you, and, and you write something and you, you, you make this, this asterisk again, and it's, it's, it's typing in italic. Um, so here, italic, the same with asterisk, asterisk bold. Um, this curly lines makes a strike through. OK, server folks, there's also, also something for you. It's actually even more for you. Um, underscore, underscore is italic. It's a little bit confusing because asterisk, it's up, all of a sudden, it's bold and not italic. So if you switch frequently from, from cloud to server, you get confused. Uh, and then you have this, this nice underline. Um, so here, write something in italic. Works like a charm. Uh, and it's a, it's a real productivity improvement. A thing that you probably use uh, frequently and that you know is this one here. It's an it's a asterisk and then a space, and it turns it into a bullet point, or one dot space, and it turns it into a numbered list, uh, or this, this, this brackets, and it turns, it turns it into a task, this element, this task element that you have in Confluence. And this is the same for server and cloud. God, uh, thank God. Uh, so, it looks like this, just a non -non bullet list, a numbered list. Uh, and then you have this brackets, uh, which turns it into, into a task. And you ha can have a whole task list if you press Enter now. Pretty straightforward. Uh, but what if you want to turn this list actually into a bullet point list? There's also help for you. You just highlight this list and then press Command-Shift-B. Command-Shift-B turns it into a bullet point list for server folks. Uh, and Command Shift N turns it into a numbered list automatically. Uh, so learn this uh, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, for for your cloud folks, it's different. Sorry for that uh, confusion again. Uh, so I don't know what the programmers have thought, but it is Command Shift Eight and Command Shift Seven. It's the same thing. Uh, anyone knows what what that means here? The two pipes. Okay, two pipes. You write something. Write two pipes again. Uh, it's actually the, the column of a table. So you can create a table 
just by taking pi pipe, first column name, pi pipe, second column name here, and then the third column name, and press enter, and it turns it automatically into a table. So boom, there you have it, a table. Um, this is awesome. I don't use it too often, um, but it is, it, is, it is great. But what I discovered when I, when I uh, prepared this talk, what is really awesome is, 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 and it's not very well documented, is these things here. You can add columns and row just with your keyboard. You don't have to go up to the menu and add a column or row. And it's uh, command, control, and then use the cursor keys, up, down, left, right, to add a column or a row. Uh, and that's a whole productivity improvement here. So use that, boom, adds a column and adds, adds a row to your, to your table, and then you can just type, type whatever you want. Some people say all these emojis that, that Alassian has, you don't, you don't need to use that somehow. So this thumbs up is just like uh, this, this, this small brackets there and then the, the, the Y. Uh, you don't, you don't, you don't, they say you don't use that. Uh, I, I, my, some people say they don't use it because it's just too, too comic-y or something. I have a, some, some use cases for that. Uh, if I want to make a pro cons list, for example, I use this plus thing, so, so bracket plus bracket, uh, and then use this plus things uh, for, for just making, making the point stronger or not so strong. And I also use these here, the X and, and the slash, making a cross or a check mark. Um, also also pretty, pretty awesome. Um, all right, anyone here the slash slash command? Yeah, some knows it, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's really great. Uh, when I show it to new Confluence users, they are just blown away because what you do, uh, you just type in a date and then you have this nice date element. So here I type in slash slash 09-23-2019. Let's do that. 09-23-2019, uh, boom. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's this date element on your page just by typing slash slash and then typing the date. No, again, no mouse ever used or no, 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 no trackpad. Um, if you want to sort images, you can do that. I don't use that very often. If you have this, this bracket, you can insert links in Confluence pages. And if you have this curly bracket, you can insert macros. And this is what I use on a daily basis, inserting status, a status macro or this info boxes or something like that, or warning box just, just by, by typing this curly brackets and then stop typing. OK, let's have a look at that, how that looks. Uh, Expression mark, you can add an add a, add a, uh, image just from, from Confluence here. Uh, and then comes the curly bracket, and I just type status, press enter. And then I can also just, just type in, uh, use, use the status macro, or here type warning. And then I have this nice warning, warning macro, press, press S, and then I s the, the page is saved, and I'm done. Boom. You might think, there's a lot to learn, right? There's really a lot to learn. Is it really worth it then? Um, and I was, I was actually, when I prepared the talk and I, I did all this research and learned all these keyword shortcuts again, um, I, was, I thought, yeah, is it really worth? So I made a comparison. So I, I, I created a page, and once I used the mouse to use all this stuff, to, to, to add a, a macro, to make a heading, and then I used the keyboard. And I have a side-by-side -side comparison here. So let's have a look. Uh, so here, keyboard, mouse, pretty much aligned still. Um, Pretty much the same, the same speed. A little bit ahead is now the keyboard. Now it's way ahead, actually. Uh, oh, the table is already added with the with the keyboard. Great. Uh, added a row just with the keyboard. It's getting really, really, yeah. It's getting really fast with the keyboard. The mouse is still lacking. Okay. Now I have to have some status macros that I wanted to add. Uh, do that just with with using the keyboard without any mouse touched. And I'm done with the page in three minutes, 26 seconds. And we're waiting, still waiting for the mouse, still waiting, waiting. Come on, come on, come on. Done. One minute saved. It's a t more than 25% productivity increase by just using the keyboard shortcuts. It's amazing. Um, all right, cool. Uh, that's a, that's a lightning talk, and I'm, I'm, I'm done here. I just want to wrap up here. Make your page readable. Think about layouts, which layouts you use. Uh, try, try to find pages fast. That makes you super productive, productive, especially the go recently. Remember that and use that daily. And then type, use those keyboard, keyboard uh, shortcuts, those auto-format things, all this stuff. 
uh, to type faster. And that's it. Be more productive, and thank you for attending. <laughs>